The president taking a firm position after providing dozens of interviews to special counsel Robert Mueller and over a million records. Then he seemed to pivot and question the need for his business records that are part of a separate House investigation. Now, Mueller, I assume, for $35 million, checked my taxes, checked my financials, which are great, by the way. You know they're great. All you have to do is go look at the records. They're all over the place. Former White House counsel Don McGahn is at the center of the special counsel's obstruction findings. That interview was governed by a 2008 Justice Department legal opinion that allows for sharing information within the executive branch, but privilege still stands if shared with outside parties, including Congress. In the last hour, the White House counsel Pat Cipollone confirming that senior presidential advisor for policy Stephen Miller will also refuse a congressional subpoena to testify before the House Oversight Committee. The Oversight Committee Chairman Elijah Cummings responded late yesterday to recent developments, issuing this statement that reads in part, quote, this is a massive, unprecedented and growing pattern of obstruction. President Trump declared to the entire country that he would obstruct Congress and order all White House officials to defy lawful subpoenas. And Wednesday, the Trump administration went even further by expanding this policy to employees at federal agencies. The Oversight Committee also wants testimony on the census, and a Justice Department official told Fox News the committee provided, quote, no legitimate or constitutional basis for excluding a Justice Department lawyer to protect privilege, and if that changes, they said the Attorney General William Barr will have no objections, Bill. Catherine, thank you.